Hey everybody, uh, so this is a quick tutorial on how to get uh, started inside uh, using GoZ from Daz, okay? So you'll go to this website, GoZ for Daz. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description and it should be free. Just purchase it. Boom, baby. Uh, once you've done that, use your install manager, not Daz Studio, okay? Um, or Daz, what, what is it called? Uh, Daz Central. Don't use that. Use Install Manager. Uh, you can go to Ready to Download, look up GoZ, and you'll get GoZ for Daz Studio 4.20 or whatever it is. And you can go ahead and download it and install it. Once you've done that, you can open up Daz and you have your uh, edit and you should see send to uh, send to ZBrush okay once you've got that now you're ready you can create any character you want everything is cool boom 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 um, and uh, once you've done that all you have to do is select your character say file send to and uh, send to ZBrush you don't even have to have ZBrush open, it'll open it for you automatically. Um, so you click the button, now you get two buttons here. If you want to bring it back into, if you want to create morphs for your character in Daz, make sure that is off. If you want to export a high resolution and never bring it back to Daz and use it for something like Unreal or Maya or something, then you can put that on. That's exporting high resolution, it will not come back to Daz. So leave that off. Export with deformations, yes, because I want to export with uh, the poses and everything that I've got. I'll hit accept, baby. And it'll build everything for you. And then you're left with nothing. If you hold down left click and drag, you'll get it, okay? But now I can carry on doing it, right? And how do I, how do I play with my model? I can't do anything else except for make multiple instances. <laughs> All you have to do is hold down control and press T, right? And that will make your final one. So it's control, press T, boom, then control, hold down control, hit N for naughty, and it'll delete all the other ones. Wait, am I getting this right? T, control N, control M. So you hit, uh, you create your character, you hit control T, okay, then control N. N, and then straight off that, control M for mama, okay? And that turns it into a 3D mesh and gets rid of all the all the canvas paintings that you put on there. So now I've got a mesh ready to solve, uh, ready to work with, okay? Um, using this is very different. Uh, you can select your subtool. Uh, we'll do a proper tutorial on this, but this is just showing you how to quickly go back and forth. Um, you can correct whatever subtool or you can hold down alt and just click on the, the sub tool the tool that you want to work on so let's say I want to work on this jacket I can do anything I want to it obviously you can't subdivide it no subdividing while you're doing this it needs to be the exact same vertices as you exported it with so for this I'm just gonna do this quickly just to show you I'm happy with that. I will go on the object I want to export. So it's not that, it's this. Go up to up here, go Z, all the way to the top here in your tool menu. Uh, hit go Z. It'll send it back here and it'll ask you update geometry, create a morph. Yes, we want to create a morph. Name it, call it shirt or something. Uh, I leave ZBrush in the, in the, I always leave ZBrush is the first thing because all I have to do is look up for ZBrush and I can get all my ZBrush morphs that I do. You can hit accept. Now when you hit Otis you can go look up ZBrush, ZBrush, hit all and boom. Okay now you get your morph on that and you can go just now that your model is loaded in ZBrush you can go straight into ZBrush and you can do anything you want okay. Big muscles, big muscles, big muscles. Now remember, everything that I change, I have to select it, go Z, give it a name, call it character, and it'll add another one for you. Okay, boom. Uh, go back to ZBrush, what else did I change? The hair, go Z, <laughs> and call it hair or something. And 
this is a ridiculously incredible workflow. Uh, it's just loading them off because the hair is a big one. The hair is a big one, girl. Let me show you, girl. Come on. Come on now. Don't quit, bro. Don't quit. Uh huh. Okay, so there we go. ZBrush, and there's the hair. Boom. Okay. So that's just an easy way of uh, going back and forth um, within that studio. And you can see I've got all my morphs. If I click on him, you can blend. So you don't have to use the full morph, but you can blend exactly how you want it. So I hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next one.